In recent years, the digital arts community has faced significant uncertainty, and we all know why. AI. The sudden rise and rapid growth of AI art have left many questions unanswered. Will digital art become obsolete? Is it worth pursuing a career in digital art? Should we all just give up or should we dive into AI art, seeing as that's where the future seems to be heading? Today, I aim to address these questions, and I believe the answers might be simpler than you think. This type of disruptive change has occurred multiple times throughout history, affecting artists profoundly. By examining the past, we might predict the future. Let's take a trip back in time to explore the history of art and find some answers. We won't delve into the entire history of art. Instead, we we'll focus on two key moments when similar disruptions occurred. The first is the invention of photography in the 19th century. Photography revolutionized the art world. Before its invention, capturing images on a 2D surface required an artist. Painters and illustrators were in high demand. However, when photography emerged, many artists felt threatened. The camera's ability to capture reality with precision seemed to undermine the traditional role of painting. This fear led artists to question the purpose of their craft. As a response, artists began to move away from realistic representation, exploring new ways to express emotions, ideas, and impressions. This shift gave birth to movements like Impressionism, led by artists such as Claude Monet and Edgar Degas, who focused on light and color. Symbolism and Expressionism also emerged, with artists like Van Gogh and Edvard Munch using both colors and dramatic compositions to convey inner experiences. The broader modernist movement, including Cubism and Surrealism, featured artists like Pablo Picasso and Salvador Dali, who experimented in fragmented forms and dreamlike imagery. The point is that, without the advent of photography, these new forms of art might never have been explored. Although some artists abandoned their careers, art itself survived and evolved. Photography and traditional art found ways to coexist. Photography was eventually recognized as a legitimate art form. Photographers like Julia Margaret Cameron and Alfred Stiglitz pushed the boundaries, creating atmospheric and highly stylized images. Painters and photographers began to influence each other, leading to a cross-pollination of techniques and ideas. The invention of photography, which initially seemed like the end of art, became essential for its evolution. The second disruption came with the invention of 3D animation. Animation has a long history. But for a long time, it was dominated by hand-drawn 2D techniques. This changed with the advent of 3D animation. Classics like Cinderella and The Lion King represented the golden age of 2D animation. But when 3D films like Shrek and Toy Story were released, they achieved immediate success, signaling the end of 2D's dominance. This shift led to many layoffs with 2D animators struggling to adapt. However, fast forward to today, and we see that 2D and 3D animation have found ways to coexist. Many 3D projects still involve 2D artists in their character design process. There's a blending of 2D and 3D techniques, with 3D backgrounds in 2D animations and vice versa, as well as some 3D animations trying to look like 2D, and even some 2D animations trying to look like 3D. Despite 3D's rise, the unique qualities of 2D animation ensure its continued relevance. So, what does this mean for AI art and digital artists today? Many fear that AI signifies the end for digital artists, similar to past disruptions. Yes, some artists will lose their jobs, and many may give up, but just as photographers and 3D artists found their place, so will AI artists. AI art is already gaining traction, selling at auctions, and being used widely. Digital artists must evolve and adapt to coexist with AI tools. I believe that AI will eventually become a standard part of art education, just like photography and 3D animation did. Art schools might offer courses like AI Art 101, while this may seem strange now, adaptation is crucial. Some digital artists will transition into AI art, while others will innovate beyond current boundaries and try out new techniques. I don't know what the future holds exactly, but I hope to be among those who persevere and lead in the new world of art. Now, let's take a look at the two images created for this video. Thank you so much for watching this video all the way to the end. I hope you learned something from it. If you want to watch the first video in this series, click right here. You'll be helping me out a lot if you watch that video. Thank you so much. Goodbye.